How's it going, creators? We're happy to announce our latest plugin, the Crates Heads Up Display. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's actually not a plugin. It's an extension, not to be a nerd. It's awesome, though, and it works with After Effects and Premiere, and it is super easy to edit. We will be updating this in the future with new HUD assets and new categories. The extension is available <laughs> now for our pro members. You can find a download link to the HUD extension in the description below. Just download it and un zip both folders zip zip and you know what i just leave them in the folder which is automatically created by crate connect which is our free browser extension it's just an easy to use extension that automatically organizes production crate stuff for you super useful zip zip <laughs> zip zip <laughs> the dmg is the installer for mac and the application installer is for windows go ahead and double click whichever installer is for you any pop-ups just allow the extension to make the changes and then launch after effects oh Open the extension by going up to Window, Extension, Crates, HUD. Are we calling it HUD or HUD? I just call it HUD. HUD. All right, Crates HUD extension. It's dockable, so you can put it anywhere that you feel comfortable. If it asks you to locate the HUD preview folder, just find where you unzipped it and link it up. Link it up. Zip, zip. <laughs> you can scroll over any element to see an instantaneous playback of what it's going to look like. Browse through the categories to find an animation that suits you. We'll probably update this about once a year with new assets. Just select one that you want to use and it's going to auto-generate a new composition and your brand new HUD effect. These are shape layers, so they're vectors and you can scale them infinitely without worrying about resolution. Just don't even worry about it. For whatever reason, this one generated with a crazy scale, so we're just going to bring it down to 100. We can see that it animates in and out and it even has a little helpful out marker here just so you know when the animation is ending. Go ahead and check out all the keyframes by selecting the shape layer and hitting you. No! Do it. <laughs> hitting you. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Depending on your... <laughs> Depending on your level and experience with After Effects, this might look too crazy to you, so go ahead and feel free to ignore it. But if you are comfortable with After Effects, you can edit stuff here. Let's say I don't want my targeting element to animate out. I can just delete these end keyframes right here. You can turn off or on the visibility of any layer easily. They're all nicely labeled. You can even change the color of a specific layer. Just make sure there is no fill effect or any other effect applied to the entire shape layer. And if there is, just delete it. Delete. Zip, zip. <laughs> if you want, change the dashes, the stroke width, the layer size, and any other feature that you want to easily customize. Like we mentioned before, this works in Premiere as well, so let's go ahead and jump into Premiere. All right. In Premiere, go to Window Extensions and select the HUD extension. You'll see the same dockable window as before. Let's try generating one of these gauges next. Click to generate. Oh no, an alert. Oh no, oh no. Nah, that's fine. This is just telling us we need a sequence to add it to. If you're editing something, you'll already have a sequence. I'll make one and just add in some random footage for now. I'll go with this space shot. Now I can generate my HUD element. Select that layer. We can see some graphic parameter controls in our effects controls window. Let's make some adjustments. You can move, scale, and change colors to your heart's content. You'll have a little bit less control than you will in After Effects, but as some sci-fi set dressing, this should be more than enough for you. Make sure to check out our free hologram script for After Effects. This will add an extra amount of sci-fi goodness to your shots. See this. No! No! We also have the sci-fi category on Footage Crate, as well as sci-fi sound effects and even sci-fi music. Wow, and that's it. Is that it? That's a lot. I think that might be it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Let us know what we forgot in the comments below. <laughs> if you have any questions, also let us know in the comments below. And always remember, folks, to make it awesome. Oh, yeah. Later, creators. Later, creators.